Hi, and I'm the physical depiction of untreated mental illness, and welcome to my channel. No, I'm not gonna do that, or I will. Hey team, and welcome to this video. I just wanted to show you what my cosplay looks like on, but obviously I'm going to have to take the jacket off because it is pecking very hot and also it's going to ruin the audio when I move around. Feast your eyes on this! As you have probably figured out from the title of this video, I am going to be showing you where I got all of the pieces for the confetti jacket Birds of Prey cosplay. I made a few things myself, but a lot of them I sourced, and I hope this video can help you to build your own cosplay. And without further ado, let's just get stuck into it. If you are lazy like me, you can find the links to the items below in the description box. There might not be all of them there because as I said, I made some and some have stopped being made, but I will try my best to help you best I can. Let's just start from head to toe. First thing, wig. The wig is from AliExpress. It is a full lace human hair wig. It came in this colored blonde and I got it in 12 inches. So I didn't have to cut that much off. It cost about 150 Australian dollars and the shipping was delightful. It arrived in like one week. And then from there, I took the wig to my hairdresser. She dyed the roots, helped me with styling and also dyed the ends pink and blue. I trusted a professional hairdresser that does this every day as opposed to me because I feel like I would have spent so much money and I've had so much trouble with the wig. So eliminating the stress was very helpful. And from the hairdresser, I spent maybe $140 getting it styled and colored. So all up, the wig cost about 300 Australian dollars, but definitely reusable for her other looks throughout the Birds of Prey movie. That is the story of the wig. Jewelry. So I've already shown you guys where I got my jewelry from when I did my unboxing a few weeks ago. They are from my friend Christy, AKA For The Love Of Harley on Instagram. She has an Etsy store, but I believe she is not taking jewelry orders at the moment. However, I do know where the absolute movie accurate necklace is made. I'll link that in the description below. That is the exact designer and the exact model that they used in the movie. Hey team, voiceover Laura here. So upon editing this video, I just found out that the actual OG necklace has been sold out. However, the necklace in the next clip that I'll be showing you is still in stock. It is very expensive. However, it is the exact designer and the exact replica for the movie. I am not willing to spend, I think it's $200 on it since I've already got this replica, but I will be looking into it for the Bruce collar one that Harley wears for the rest of the film. Suspenders. I am not happy with them so far. I've made them myself. If you've seen the film, you will be able to tell that it's actually neon red, not orange. Okay. They're not fluoro orange suspenders. They're neon red. I got two pairs of kids sized neon red suspenders from the suspenderstore.com. And because I live in Australia, I had to pay like $50 shipping. It cost me like 75 Australian dollars to get the right suspenders, but I haven't completed them. Basically what I did is I found these swivel hooks on eBay. I bought two of them and then I sewed with neon red thread the two suspenders on. I would like to say that in the movie, she actually has mesh sewn between the two so that they stay evenly spaced. I have not yet done that. As you can see, they can separate. And in the film, she actually has a silver diamond keeping the suspenders together. I made these suspenders when I was in Chile for a convention in my hotel room at one o'clock in the morning. So it's not perfect, but basically I used um, a normal suspender and an orange suspender there because I just was time poor and no one really looks at the back, but that's something I need to fix later. Next thing, I have the crop top, which I got from a pole dancing shop overseas. This one has a V cut and it also has some ruching in the middle, along with the fact that the back is very different. Not movie accurate, but I would recommend this top. Harley has an actual bodysuit in the movie that's buckles on the side and it's fluorescent pink at the top and neon orange in the bottoms. We don't see the neon orange bottoms. That brand made it exclusively for the movie and they're not selling it. 
However, if you want to go like super accurate, get those buckles on the side of a crop top. I am 100% sure there are many replicas of this top now. Da 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 da. It is voiceover Laura with two listings that I found on Etsy that are looking very promising. I'll leave the links for both of these listings below. I cannot vouch for them as I do not have the product. I can't give you a review. However, from what I can see, they are a lot more accurate in terms of style, color and cut compared to what I have at the moment. Next up is the shorts. You can't see the shorts fully, so I will take them off and do a quick costume change real quick. Hello and welcome to me in my pajamas. I made these shorts and I have shot all the footage of making these shorts and I have plans to make a tutorial. I'm just kind of putting it off. I was also waiting for the movie to come out so I could get a better idea of how to create them super accurately. And after seeing the film, I know exactly what it is, what they are, and what they should look like. And these aren't exactly accurate, but are very close. Very, very close. The normal denim shorts, I got them secondhand from a shop in Newtown in Sydney, where it is renowned for vintage shopping. So they're vintage Levi jeans, shorts. I used black ribbon, satin ribbon, so it was shiny. In the film, they actually used like black stretch vinyl that's very, you know, that glossy vinyl, so it's not ribbon, but it looks very, very close. I secured the ribbon with fabric glue, and the fabric glue has held very, very well. I've worn these shorts twice now, and the fabric glue's still sticking. I use red fabric paint for the stars. They're actually meant to be neon orange, like the suspenders. So with all the limited photos I had at the time, I just assumed they were red. They were not red. They were neon orange slash pink. Neon pink. I don't know, but it's not red. And in the movie as well, the stars don't look as chunky as these. They kind of look like starfish. So if I had my time again, I would draw neon orangey pink starfish on the shorts and I can't really go over it now. I would like to revisit the shorts, but yeah, if you wanna make your own, it's very easy. I wouldn't say it's hard to make because I'm very limited with my skills, so definitely doable. Tattoos. I didn't put on all my tattoos for this video because the tattoos take like two to three hours to apply properly and I was like, hey guys, I don't really have that kind of time. Little bit of a self-promotion here, but at the same time, I reckon these are the best out there, otherwise I wouldn't vouch for them, otherwise I wouldn't have made them, otherwise, look, just listen to me here. I think it was six months after Suicide Squad came out, I was searching and searching for proper special effects Harley Quinn tattoos and I couldn't find anything and so I took matters into my own hands and I made Suicide Squad Harley Quinn tattoos and now I've made Birds of Prey tattoos that I've altered with my friend Tash on Photoshop so that we have the lines squiggled out, we have the mermaid, we have pudding cups. These are available on my Etsy store. I don't want to toot my own trumpet, but I haven't had any negative reviews on the tattoos. This is exactly what they use in movies. So here's an example of how they look on already. Pretty great. A few very commonly asked questions about the tattoos. They last two to three days and it really depends on how much you sweat. I know that sounds really gross, but basically you're putting prosthetic adhesive, which is the special glue that they use in special effects. You're putting prosthetic adhesive on your skin. So depending how much you sweat underneath this glue, it's going to act like a film. So the more you sweat, the easier it's just going to peel right off. So if it's cold where you live, you're going to be blessed and the tattoos do get sticky because the glue loses the powder that you put on them and you just need to keep powdering. It works after a shower, you can go to bed with them on, but roughly two to three days and I would take them off after that time because you don't want to get any kind of bacterial infection and it's not very good to keep them on for even more than one day. So that's the risk you take by leaving them on for longer. Also, I would highly recommend not putting on the arm tattoos when you have the confetti jacket on because the confetti jacket is made of sticky plastic tape and it gets stuck to the tattoos that get sweaty under the jacket and then you're ripping the jacket apart, your tattoos are a mess, I would highly recommend not doing that because I did that the first time I did this cosplay and I cried. I didn't actually cry. So, 
This is the exact same jacket. This is not the exact same jacket. It's a replica of the exact jacket used for the movie by the lady that made it for the movie. Did I make sense there? Anyway, her name is Michelle Urbest and she did a run of these jackets shortly after the photos behind the scenes of the film were released last year. And I jumped onto her and I sent her an email. I said, hello, may I please have the jacket in a size medium? I'll do anything. She was like, that's not necessary. You can just pay me and I'll make it because I'm doing that for everyone. And I was like, that's fair. I didn't have to be so crazy about it. And then she did. And I got it in a size medium. Ah, amazing. So good. I'm not 100% sure if she is still making these jackets. However, if enough people inquire, it would be wise for her to continue making them. So there's this ancient Chinese proverb my dad always says to me, and it is the squeaky door gets oiled. So if she's not making them and enough of you guys start emailing her, maybe she'll start making them again. I found the exact same shoes, which cost like 600 Australian dollars from the real designer. Buy them from AliExpress. I got them for $70. Hey team, it is voiceover Laura and I have some bad news this time. So the exact listing that I bought these shoes from, they have jacked up the price a whole hundred Australian dollars. My suspicion is that the shoes became very popular because of the Harley Quinn cosplayers and hence they want to make bank. And they're basically exactly the same except for you can see the white triangle and the white heel. They're not there on the original shoe. But aside from that, it's basically the exact same shoe. It's like Birds of Prey knew that us cosplayers were going to want to do everything and they started buying all this really expensive designer stuff. But anyway, these shoes, you can get them for cheaper. AliExpress, I'll link them below. Caution, they run very small. I did manage to squeeze into them, but you do risk breaking the shoe, which I kind of busted the zip and it's kind of working, but not working, so. Yeah, highly recommend these. Normally, I'm a very positive person. When I have something negative to say, I try not to say anything. I did buy these socks off Etsy. I purchased them for like $80 because I was desperate at the time I thought I was going overseas for a convention. They look good on photos and video, but it was the quality. They're just falling apart. For me personally, isn't worth $80. So whilst I understand that someone has spent a lot of time and effort making them, I wouldn't quote it at that price. It's me, your girl, voiceover Laura, with some good news this time, and that is that the socks are now available on Hot Topic. They are extremely affordable and they are very, very accurate. The only reservation I have is that they run small for a lot of people with larger feet. I'm yet to receive mine in the mail. However, I have had glowing reviews from cosplay friends and just be wary that they may not fit. And if that is the case, I'm just going to alter mine. So there is your alternative. Final thing, this is the mallet that I have, which was replicated from the Suicide Squad version of the mallet. Plot twist, the mallet has shrunk for the Birds of Prey movie. I don't know why or how, but the mallet they use in Birds of Prey is a lot smaller than the exact same mallet they showed in Suicide Squad. This is made of solid wood. If you were going to a convention as a cosplayer and not as a vendor or a guest or whatever, you wouldn't be allowed this in. You wouldn't be able to get it past weapons check because it can kill someone. We love that. If you had to run out of the house for the zombie apocalypse, this is good to have, but it's not good to have in a public space where you could potentially kill someone. So it is very heavy. And when I take photos with people and they ask to hold the mallet, I warn them and they drop it. And they're like, whoa, I didn't realize it was so heavy. And I said, I literally told you. I said, hey, this is heavy. Let me hold it because I've got muscles. But no, it's the gym. However, very good for the price and it's going to be with me forever because it's such a high quality prop and it's definitely a display piece. So I love my mallet. That's it. That is it. And I have provided you with all of this information and research. I'm very happy with how my cosplay turned out. Not super accurate yet. Keyword is yet.
trying to get as accurate as I can. You know me, I'm a perfectionist, which is a blessing and a goddamn curse. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video helps you with your cosplay and just wish you a great day, friend. You just, you just have the best day. And look, I'm, I'm just gonna go now. So, okay, come on. Testing, audio, testing, lighting, testing my patience for this cosplay if that makes sense. Where do we get all the pieces? I have no method to this madness. All of you just have to, ha, ha, la, 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 la. But if I did have feelings for an immortal, it's, um, yeah, I don't have those. But if I did, I would have cried. Talk to you because I can't spread my hands properly. And I like to talk with my hands. I just love the internet. I just love how you can just Google something or YouTube something and someone's done all the hard work for you. Hello, I'm the hard work for you that has done it. The hard work. Who am I? Okay. Anyway, that was very hard for me to say. Solid wood. Oh great, I just broke my ring. Eee? What a great video! Just pleased to have you here. Extremely long short tutorial. An extremely long tutorial about making shorts. Zombie apocalypse worthy. Glowing, glowing review. That's what I was trying to say. I will do more videos. Do 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 Yeah. That's it. It's all over Red Rover.